Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In previous tutorial, we have created a program for LED blinking for STM32401 RE Nucleo board. But in this new tutorial, we are going to interface GPIO pins, that means the push button, as well as LED. So in this program, uh, when we click GPIO pin that is connected with the push button, then our LED board LED will change a frequency of toggle okay so first of all that we need to modify our code as we have already uh, as I have already mentioned if you write these codes in between uh, these two comments that's when user code begin and user code end so it won't loss otherwise if you write this code suppose that here in between these two comments then your code will your code will lost when we regenerate code so we are just using a previous our our previous uh, uh, configuration here only we need to set uh, GPIO pins which is being used as a interrupt and it is a PC 13 pins okay so come to here and select PC 13 see the PC 13 and we need to make it GPIO external interrupt 13 that's it and we do not need to change anything here come here into the configuration come to the GPIO select here see everything is fine external interrupt mode with rising edge triggering edge detection so we do not need to change anything here and as you know the RCC has been already selected this uh, NVIC setting enabled okay let's come to here and just click on generate code we do not need to reopen our project just come here and update it fine so as previous we have seen there is three files now we need to open this interrupt file into the interrupt file okay it is cross sign leave it okay it will take care if you compile it sorry I think there is a problem uh, perhaps we need to recreate our project okay so let's recreate it regenerate there might be some problem okay so now come here into the interrupt cystic interrupt handler RCC IRQ handler uh, I think we have missed that RCC interrupt handler okay let me see into the NVIC yes we need to select this external interrupt okay click on ok and then regenerate our code close it come to here and it will update reload automatically and update here we have got so we need to write our code in between these two comments or you, we can write here okay so let's write our code in between these two comments so here first of all that we need to check whether PC 13 is high or low so before that we need to stabilize our push button because it is a push button when user press the push button there could be some debouncing effect okay if you don't know about debouncing just search on google a button debouncing okay so here we here we need to create some delay let's say using a for loop in i is equal to the zero let's say i is less than 65535 and i plus plus okay that's mean it will wait for some time here and then it will go for next instruction so if now we need to check ki whether this pin is high or low that pin that means uh, the push button pin and that push button pins there is function the GPIO uh, read pin so here we need to write here we need to write hall underscore GPIO 
underscore read pin and for read pins we need a PC 13 that means GPIO C okay GPIO C and then we need GPIO pin 13 GPIO pin 13 so here if this pin is a uh, 1 okay so this if we'll execute and let's create a delay okay so if suppose that the t delay and uh, if t delay is equal to the 250 okay so here we are taking 500 period so if delay is 250 then make the t delay to 1000 okay and else t delay its t delay is equal to uh, 250 okay fine so here what is what uh, what will happen here when we press gpio pin pc13 uh, push button and it will check if period is 500 okay that's mean high and the low 250 250 the period that means the 500 millisecond if period is 500 millisecond it will switch to 2000 millisecond and if period is 2000 millisecond then it will set to 500 millisecond period okay so here as you can see this t delay um, is telling it is not defined so we can define it here okay use your code begin so you int let's say 16 underscore t t delay okay is equal to let's say it is 250 and uh, I think there is something problem here so what we can do uh, let me define it uh, you int t delay uh, make it extern okay and define that t delay here okay use your private variable you int 16 underscore t t delay is equal to 250 and uh, here give a variable t delay fine now compile your code you see how it is working it is toggling and then creating a t delay and the t delay is changing into the interrupt subroutine and it is changing every time when we uh, push the when we push the button okay so zero error and the zero warning fine sorry yes now otherwise it won't work okay now it will work let's uh, uh, let's download it into our nuclear board okay, so the first press the reset button you can see here LED is blinking and uh, if we press this user button see the period of LED blinking has been changed when we again press then it is changed when we again press then it is again changed so in this tutorial we have seen interfacing with the external interrupt push button and LED together in Nucleo board and in the next tutorial we will see about the UART configuration. Thanks for watching.